Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in to another video. Today we're going to be looking at a different sort of fun. This here is a, a new Lego set that's just been released recently by Lego and it's from the Lego Ideas series and it's actually a typewriter. I believe it's actually a functional typewriter, obviously it's not going to ink or actually ink out some letters but from a keystrokes perspective all the parts will move. Um, uh, the model number of this is Lego 21327 in the UK at least, um, I think it's probably international. Um, and as you can see there on the box here, 2079 pieces. Um, so this is going to be very fun to build. Now, you've not seen any Lego on my channel before, but I am a Lego collector. I do collect a lot of Lego sets, um, especially the ones that I think are going to appreciate in value. And I don't actually open them. So... I'm going to be doing something unusual today. I'm going to be opening this up. We're going to have a look inside the box, see how it's all packaged up. I'm actually going to go ahead and build this. So the first video here you're going to see is just off the actual unboxing and having a look at what's in the box. Um, and then I'll be doing another review after it's been built to show you the actual finished product. You'll get a feel for size. I was quite keen on this. I thought it looked really, really nice. It had a really sort of retro look to it. Um, and I think it's going to go very nice somewhere on a nice, uh, on a nice uh, table in the lounge probably. Um, really, really nice look. Clean finish. I think it's going to be a fun build as well. I uh, don't know how difficult it's going to be to build, but it's definitely going to be fun. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up with the tabs again. Something I haven't done in a very long time with any Lego set is open it up because I don't open Lego sets. I collect them. So, it's open. That is not being sold. So, let's go ahead and pop these out. And as you can see, loads and loads of bags of good stuff. Right there. So that's the box, empty. Let's get the box out of the way. Um, really, really big pack here. I think this is going to be the instructions manual. Um, that's a solid solid cardboard envelope it's got a good weight to it as well so must be um, many 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 pages of instructions so let's go ahead and cut these off as well right let's go and see what we've got in here so i think there's going to be some brochure and advertising and all that good stuff and you know what there should be because it's such a lovely set and i'll probably be buying another one of these to keep aside as an investment because i think this definitely is going to be a good investment in the future what a lovely lego set um, now i actually had i'm showing my age here but i actually had one of the original typewriters i can't even remember what brand it was um but back in the day before i had a computer i actually had a functioning typewriter like this which is why it's appealed to me even more because i had actually typed some homework on one of these back in the day um, and submitted it and I might even still have it somewhere and if I can find it I would love to put it out and show it to you when I complete the build I, th I doubt I will be able to find it but I have actually completed homework when I was a little boy um, and submitted it typed from an actual typewriter like this so it definitely brings back good memories for me now this is the instruction manual so look how thick that is look at that let's see how many pages there are on this and this is pretty much all instructions 248 uh, page number there 248 so about 250 pages worth of instructions you've got there yep 250 there we go um and this is all built so this is going to be a big old build it's not going to be a quick one and you're seeing a mixture here this is an interesting one the idea is that so you're seeing the sort of traditional legos and you're seeing the technics pieces as well so this is a bit of a mix between the standard Lego sets and a Technics Lego set. Look at that. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Who's this gentleman here? Right, so that is mostly, let's see where the instruction starts. You see, you finish it after you pay 250. The instructions are starting on, believe it or not, page 11. No, 11, 12. There we go, page 12. The first set of instructions are on page 12. It tells you which bag to open and then you just crack on with it. 12, you 240 odd pages worth of instructions to build this thing. Wow, that's gonna be a long odd build. What else have we got here? We've got a, it looks like a notepad. Yeah, this looks, um, 
It's interesting because the notepad this way is actually blank. So it's an ideas notepad. Maybe you jot your ideas down in here. And on the other side, the notepad is printed with pages, many different pages in different languages. It's the same thing in many, many, many different languages. And I suppose the idea with this is you can actually pull one out. I think you actually, yeah, it's perforated, as you can see there. So they're definitely perforated. So I think the idea with these is that you, you actually pull them out, as you can see, and you roll it into the typewriter. That will definitely finish off the look. Once this is on display, you pull out the, the letter that's in your language uh, or your, your local language, and you stick it into the typewriter and roll it in. Um, let's just have a look at some of the bags here. What bag number have we got here? Number two. If I can find number one, there's number one. So that is what you're starting with. A bunch of Technics pieces there, as you can see. Um, and then you're building on to bigger and bigger bags with all sorts of pieces. Oh, this is going to be great fun. So there's probably not much more to see here other than loads of bags of different, different Lego pieces. You can see the color there. That color is absolutely just it's stunning. Um, really, really love that sort of pastel olive green type color there. Um, really, really fancying that. That is going to be a very, very nice addition to the display in the lounge. I really like that. Look at that. Nice colours. The keys. Let's find the keys. I want to see the keys. So these are the keycaps. So this is interesting. How do I compare these size-wise? What can I compare them to for you? My thumb, maybe? Um, or finger? Fingernail? So they are the sort of size of my fingertip right there. That's the size of one of these keys. I think all the keys are not in this one bag. There's probably a few bags of keys. Um, yeah, I can't see them all. Ah, there we go. There's another small bag in this bag. So they're interesting how they package these up, right? This, they both got number threes on them, but this has got a bag in a bag with more keys in it. And then what you're seeing here is effectively I guess the key caps, these are the caps, and these are going to sit on top of these here, and that makes up your keys. Very interesting to see this all fit together and actually be able to press the button and see the actual um, see the actual typing motions, I suppose, of the, the mechanics of this uh, old school typewriter come to life. So on that note, I'm going to stop this video. Um, it's not going to be built immediately, as you can see. 250 pages is going to take a bit of time. But when it is built, I'm going to record another video to show you um, what it looks like and how it functions. Um, and you'll get an idea of what the set is really like and whether you want to invest in this or not. Thank you very much for watching. Please look out for the next video where the Lego is built. Take care. All the best. And again, quick one. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. and Please hit the subscribe button in the corner there so you can be notified of uh, new and up and coming videos. Take care, all the best.